So today we're going to be talking about the new ultra portable projector, the BenQ GS50. At the moment we've got a USB stick in the projector, um, it's just behind the concealed compartment. Um, so if you're out and about and you've got some content that you want to put on, then you could do it this way or you could screen mirror. Um, we're just going to show a movie now just to show you how good the speakers are and what this sounds like and the image quality is like, even on battery power. It's detected in the USB and then it asks you what content you want to play. So we're just going to play a quick video and then go through the folder structure and then play the movie. This is on battery power. There's no cables in the back. So really impressive performance for a 500 ansi lumen projector. So I'm just going to show now what it'll look like when the power's plugged in. You see the brightness switch straight away. So the speakers on this are very impressive compared to a lot of the other ones we've heard on the market. Uh, there's quite a lot of extra bass on them too. It can also be used as a music player, so if you just want to wirelessly stream your music from Spotify straight through to the projector from your phone, then you could do that as well. So again, it's going to be great for outdoors, you know, parties in the garden or staycations or just camping and caravanning generally. There's actually 2.1 channel Bluetooth speakers on this particular unit. In terms of the image quality, it's got HDR10 and HLG, which is not something we've seen on a projector like this before. Full HD, 1080p native as well. It's also splash proof, so that's what really makes this projector stand out on the market and quite difficult to beat from that perspective. It's going to be number one, I think, for anyone needing to be outdoor to do projections on any sort of small or larger scale. Obviously, on a super bright day, you're going to need to get some sort of shelter and projecting inside a shaded area and you can still use it outdoors perfectly or inside a tent or a caravan would be great. The only downside we can see at the moment with this particular projector is some people may prefer a slightly smaller and lighter projector as it's 2.3 kilograms and 19 centimeters by 15 by 15 so it's not as portable as some projectors but other projectors won't have the powerful speakers built in so arguably if you have an external portable speaker already you could simply connect that and save half the weight and size but if you're looking for an all-in-one solution then you can't go wrong with the BenQ GS50. This particular unit's also got Android 9 on it, um, so it's one of the most recent Android operating systems available through the projector market. Um, normally smart TVs run with a slightly lower operating system in terms of number, so it doesn't mirror exactly the operating system that you would have on a smartphone. Okay, so now we'll just show you a couple more videos take you through onto YouTube and the latest No Time To Die video. Bond, any thug can kill. I have to know I can trust you. Well, I understand double O's have a very short life expectancy. You are a kite dancing in a hurricane, Mr. Bond. So this is the home screen of the BenQ GS50. You've got all your apps on here. Some of them are already pre-installed there, but you can also download other content as well. Just showing you the different options here, but you can customize this to whichever app you prefer. So 
one of the cool things about the GS50 is its ability to connect as a standalone speaker. So great if you're having a party or want to use this for outdoors or, or even an indoor party because it really is a good powerful speaker system um, all built in one. So it's got a simple button on the top, you just press that, it's a Bluetooth button and then go onto your phone and then pair it with your Bluetooth devices. <coughs> Click on pair when it pops up. Comes up as Android TV and then connected for audio and then you can just go into your music app and play away. <laughs> So we're just going to try and connect it now to uh, an Android device and mirror the screen. So we go into the home setting on the projector and then switch to wireless projection. You've got the choice of iPhone, Android, PC, or you can even use it as a smart controller from your phone. So we're just going to try Android first of all. Um, you can either use it using the smart view options you swipe down and then swipe right and press smart view and it will also connect or if you're having problems doing that you could also use a various apps like eShare and then you can connect you've got to be on the same network and then just switch to the mirroring icon at the bottom there and it will mirror your screen so there's plenty of setting options on this model as well, so you've got your network settings, your usual sign-ins and apps, device preferences, the one you probably want to go to first as soon as you open the projector will be this one. So first one to do, go to power mode, change it to normal, otherwise if you put it in eco mode it will look quite dim. Uh, the next one, picture mode. There are several different options, but it's best to stick it in living room mode if indoors. We've got sports mode as well, which is quite useful if you're into any fast moving actions, football, or even the gaming mode as well. And then finally, on the settings, you've got picture control, so you can change each one of those aspects individually as well. It's got eye protection on this model too which means that if you were to stand in front of the projection beam, it will auto cut off. So this unit does have auto focus on it as well, which is on the remote control. And um, that button there, right in the middle. And often you, people don't like this setting because it can be a bit sensitive, but this model does have a sensitivity option. So you can have it set to low, middle or high. So if we just, Press the button now, it will pop up, do the focus for you. The next thing we're gonna show you is just the settings menu. So inside here you've got all the installation settings, which basically means all of the keystone, corner fit, auto focus, aspect ratio. And you've even got a test pattern on there as well. So it's quite high end professional installation um, solutions available there. So the interesting thing though with this model is it's got a four corner keystone correction in. So that's really useful. So you've got the geometry correction, so standard keystone, which you can set to auto or turn it off, or you can go to corner fit. If you move on to the corner fit and move down to the next setting, you then get the option to click. So if you've got a wall that's slightly out of skew, you can adjust it electronically quite significantly on all four corners of the device so that can be really handy if you haven't got a level surface for the projector to uh, to sit on we're just going to do an unboxing and then we're going to do a quick run through of the features of this new projector which is extremely well thought out uh, it's pleasantly surprising on opening the box compared to some of the other projectors we've reviewed in the past 
This particular one comes with its own case. It's a soft case, really nicely designed. It's gonna be great for outdoor use. Um, and then inside, you get a usual power supply with the UK plug in this case, but for your market, it might be a different plug. We've got the remote control, which has a voice activation on uh, with Google Assistant and Amazon Prime Video as well. So you can use that direct from the remote control. The projector itself is very nice. It's very sleek. Inside as well, you also have a dongle, which we've actually put inside the projector already. Um, but you can see inside the case, it's very rugged. Most things are included with it. So you get um, the case, the dongle, the remote control. This will be great for your staycation next year or for any other outdoor activities. You can see on this particular model, they've really designed it for the outdoor market um, with great speakers on it. Um, it's also got the tripod thread on the bottom there. They've hidden quite a lot of the ports on it as well so they're all concealed really nicely inside the unit so you've got your USB, your HDMI, you've also got USB-C on this one as well and you've got the earphone socket too for your external speakers but you can also Bluetooth to external speakers if you need to but you probably won't need to with this one because it's got really good speakers in inside anyway. So you've also got a DC port on the side again Cupboard sealed for waterproofing. This is actually waterproofed um, to IPX2 standards, uh, and the manufacturer also tells us it's drop proof as well. It's got quite a good handle on the side, so it's, whilst it's a soft handle, it's really well secured. It is quite weighty at 2.3 kilos and dimensions of 19 by 15 by 15 centimeters. On the top, you've got the power supply button, the Bluetooth connection button, plus the volume up and down. And then quite unique for this projector is you also have a compartment here, again, all well concealed to stop any dust or dirt getting in. There's a lock button here on the side. You can unlock that and then slide this out. And then they've actually hidden a 4K dongle in there which is quite good because it means you can actually choose your dongle that you might want to use instead of using theirs um, but this will give you all your smart TV solutions on there. It does come with a quite large power supply on this model so that's the only downside of this particular one because it's quite a high powered unit it comes with quite a large power supply um, obviously you could hide this away um, but it's a little bit heavier for carrying around, but you obviously do have a case you can carry it in, so it's not too big an issue. The other thing that's quite unique and funky on this particular projector is it's the first time we've ever seen uh, an integrated stand as well. So you just press the button on the top and it fires out. So you're able to angle the projector to project up a wall or wherever you need to position the projector. So with the built-in stand, it will also ratchet down to whatever height you want so you could literally change the angle to a small height or a larger angle of projection and if that's not suitable then you could also connect a normal tripod um, whether it be a mini tripod although it'd have to be a really strong one to carry the weight of a 2.3 kilogram projector but you know a, a normal professional tripod like a photographer's tripod would also work perfectly for this so you could have it from floor to whatever height you wanted.